Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. And today we're going to take a look at a short film from over the big pond from England, and it is called Jenny Ringo and the Cabaret from Hell. That's right. We get the uh, Jenny Ringo, who's kind of this girl's, you know, she's studying some witchcraft, and she tries to use a spell to help her flatmate, Gavin, in an audition at a cabaret club, but it backfires and the worst possible way. Not only that, but it turns out the club is actually a location where demons feast on the souls of the performers. And the MC keeps a terrifying secret in her bucket in her office. So we see how Jenny tries to deal with this mishap with her spell, deal with the soul-sucking performing demons from beyond the grave, and tries to avoid being meal for whatever's in the bucket. Uh, now this is actually a second short film in a series of short films named Jenny Ringo. Uh, their first one was Jenny Ringo and the Monkey's Paw. This one, oh, this was a lot of fun. I'm glad I ran across this. Now, Rosie Duncan plays the title role of Jenny Ringo, and her performance in this reminds me of a young Catherine Tate. Uh, it really does. I know it's a big thing to say, but it's true. Her performance and her character really has uh, some feelings of Catherine to it in a really good way. Uh, I love her character uh, of this girl who's just trying to explore witchcraft and, and bumbling through that. And then her, there's a flatmate played by Lucas Haberton. Loved his character as well, the slacker flatmate, you know. And now with a short film, you're not looking for a huge amount of depth. So the storyline moves along nicely. You get set up what you need set up. And it's funny and humorous and has some horror elements to it. Now it's got more humor to it than it does horror elements, but still very entertaining. What's also entertaining is the musical number that they have in it. It appears there's a musical number in each one because there's also a musical number in the monkey's paw. Uh, what really also surprised me was the production value of this. This has the high quality production value of just about anything that's on TV now. It has that high of production value for an independent production such as this. I was very surprised by the very professional look of it and the very professional execution. I love the script. It's fun and kind of original and definitely had some many entertaining moments. I actually watched it twice. Now, uh, it is a bit of British humor, so I'm going to let you know there, but it, this could stand up just about to any British show that's out there on the BBC right now. Uh, and I was very happy that I got a chance to see this. And you can get a chance to see it too. Honestly, really, just go to the JennyRingo.com site and sign up for their email newsletter. Now, I know you're like, oh, great, I got to subscribe to email newsletter, but it'll be worth it because you will get a chance to see this film called Jenny Ringo and the Cabaret from Hell. And if you want a taste of Jenny Ringo, if you're not quite sure if you want to subscribe, you can go to the webpage right now, www.jennyringo.com, and check out their other short, which is Jenny Ringo and the Monkey's Paw, which was hilarious, had another great musical number in it. Again, you will be surprised by the production value of this independent series, and I can't wait to see the next installment. Highly recommended for those who like lighter fare, a uh, little bit of comedy, you know, a lot of comedy with a bit of horror elements mixed in, and some good old British fun. Yes, folks, Jenny Ringo and the Cabaret from Hell, as well as Jenny Ringo and the Monkey's Paw are entertaining. They're short films, and I think definitely you will enjoy them. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets done.